Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be going over the yield max ETF single stock ETF distributions, not the fund of funds, and talk about NVDY, CONY, and MSTY's insane dividends. So let's get it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the uh, portfolio here. So actually, I'm going to need to readjust this. Sorry about that. Try to get this little section over here to move. Sometimes it gets stuck. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is. So the vast majority of what we were buying into, um, this is, we'll, we'll get into the dividends here in a minute, but the vast majority of what we bought into in the recent month and last couple of months was basically CONY and MSTY, again, for the crypto bull run. Okay, we've told you guys about this for eons. Um, unfortunately, kind of really wish MSTY would have came out long before the spot Bitcoin ETFs did. That would have been nice if they had just come out with that like maybe like six months earlier would have been fantastic. But is what it is. It's here now. So we took advantage of it. So uh, we have 80, almost 83 shares of Kony. Uh, and as you guys can see down here, we have roughly about 22 shares of MSTY. So MSTY is a little bit more expensive, obviously. Uh, we're pretty much about flat on these. So we're not up, but we're not down. Um, mostly flat. And part of the reason is because we've been taking profit on the way up. So uh, anyways, let's first get into the dividend yields here. So these are the yields that were just announced today, I believe. Um, yeah, so the X date is tomorrow and the payment date would be on the 8th. In case you guys are wondering, if you don't already know, the 8th is going to be next Monday. So uh, depending on the brokerage you use, it's either going to pop up on the 8th or the 9th. Like in M1's case, for example, M1 Finance, it'll probably pop up on Tuesday of next week. So there's something to keep in mind for that. Uh, so TSLY, $0.68, cents, about 53% uh, dividend rate. That's great. Uh, do we still think TSLY and TSLA can go up? Yes. Uh, it's just a matter of when it happens. I mean, typically when Tesla goes down, it goes down for a while. It's not really a quick process, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go over that in a separate video, but um, it's just a matter of patience, patience and persistence in this case, waiting for Tesla to have its turn around. Eventually it will. It's, it's done this many times over its history. It's not really surprising. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. So OARC, uh, this one's actually had a really nice dividend. So 47 and a half cents, about 44% dividend yield. Uh, we did buy a little bit of that again this uh, last month, so not really much. I think like five shares or something, so that adds a little bit more to the portfolio. Uh, AA, AAPL, um, so this is 38 cents and about 27%. NVDA, this one was a monster again. I think last month it was roughly around the same amount, so $2.60, 106, almost 107% dividend. Absolutely monstrous dividend. So AMZ or AMZY, uh, 69 cents, almost 70 cents, 35 and a half percent yield. Meta still going strong, dollar uh, 17, 61 percent. Uh, GUI, this is roughly about 31 percent, uh, 21.3 percent on the yield. So we'll continue going down here. So NFLY still did really good, 80 cents, about 51 percent yield. Uh, CONY, this thing just crushed it. I mean, this is just. It's not surprising, but it's crazy to actually see in real time that this this is actually what this pays. So uh, $2.80 roughly on Kony with nearly 120% dividend. I know that sounds nuts. <laughs> you know, you invest in something like, say, ExxonMobil that pays a quarterly dividend of like 3 or 4%. And you're looking at this like, holy crap, like how is this even possible, right? But it is. We've been talking about that, about these... Um, ETF since we started this channel. So uh, MSFO, 73 cents, just shy of 39% yield. Uh, DSO, 68 cents, 36, roughly about 36% yield. Uh, Zomo, I believe Zomo was actually the lowest paying one, which is still not bad. It's actually still pretty good. 25 cents, 16.5% yield. Keep going down here. So JPMO, uh, 65 cents, 35.7% yield. AMDY, this is a semiconductor play. I'm not really surprised the dividend's high on this one. So $1.11, 65% yield. PYPY, 46 cents, 29% yield. 
Squee, uh, 63 cents or 64 cents, essentially 31.7% yield. Uh, Mernie, 78 cents, roughly about a 46% yield. And AIYY, 72 and a half cents, about 61%. And here's the monster dividend that uh, the biggest one that we've ever seen actually, and also this month. MSTY, $4.12 per share per dividend. Is that just crazy or what? So 120.5% yield. What's really crazy about this is, uh, I could be mistaken about this, but I'm pretty sure I had told you guys before that it would not surprise me if this thing paid between 4 to $5 a share a dividend, this dividend payment. I said this simply based on the fact that MSTY had reached nearly $45 a share at its peak. Uh, we'll actually take a look at the price here. So I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but the higher that these ETFs get in price, the more they tend to pay in dividends. Like, you know, Coney and MSTY at $30 are paying almost like two and a half to three bucks a share. So this thing has just been ridiculous. Okay. I mean, over the course of a month, we went from a low of 26 to a high of $45, hence the volatility of crypto. Uh, three months, $21 to um, $43. And this is actually the first month payment for MSTY. So uh, that means that we did not get paid anything in March. So all this price action back here, when this thing was basically ripping from 26 all the way up to 45, uh, we didn't get a dividend in any of that. So it was all just ripping up, collecting premiums all the way up. And as a result, we got a massive, massive dividend payment. All of us did that own this. Uh, we actually bought into MSTY in anticipation of a massive dividend. Of, and of course, the bull run. So, you know, because MicroStrategy has like 200,000 Bitcoin or some crazy number. Uh, so very bullish play and it worked out nicely. So um, in terms of our Ford dividend earnings, uh, basically what we're going to get paid into the future. We calculate this um, ourselves. We don't just go with the dividend tracker. Um, well, actually, we'll show you the dividend tracker here. So this is the dividend tracker. It's all updated. We updated it personally. Um, so total invested about just over $40,000, as you guys can see here. Uh, annual income, $15,700. Uh, April income, which this number, again, is actually off because we double check this by doing our own numbers. Uh, about thirteen fifty a month, so you guys can see all the info there, and all the different holdings here. I think we have like, yeah, we have forty in total. So this is a, uh, you know, take a good look. It's pretty much everything we have right here, in terms of dividend paying stocks, and we're still adding to it. So that's the dividend portfolio, but uh, the actual true amount that we're going to get paid, according to the the most recent dividend data, is about twelve twenty. Uh, in dividends for the month of April. So pretty good. I mean, it pays pretty much almost all of our bills. So that's definitely nice. Uh, so one other thing is that uh, basically I'll scroll down this list and show you, uh, tell you guys which ones we actually have because we have quite a few. Most of them are in Robinhood, but some of them are also in Webull and uh, M1 Finance. So we still have Tesla. We still have all our Tesla shares. Those haven't gone anywhere. Uh, we're expecting a rebound at some point. We have all of our OARC shares, we actually added to it. We still have Apple, uh, still have roughly about 30 shares of NVIDIA. We have Amzi, um, no GUI. We do have, or no FB, I mean. Uh, we do have GUI. We have, uh, so no Enfly. We have the 83 shares of Kony, no MSFO as of yet. Uh, no DSO, no Zomo, no JPMO. Um, trying to think of what else here. So... Uh, no AMDY, uh, no PYPY. We do have Squee, we do have Mernie, uh, no AIYY, and we do have MSTY. So the next dividend pair that we're going to be picking up is actually going to be this weekly paying uh, dividend ETF, the zero DTE, which is basically means zero days to expiration. So you're trading daily uh, contracts, in this case, covered calls, which again is basically selling... Uh, selling a call on sh uh, sh lots of a hundred of sh shares that you already own pretty much is what the strategy is, but it's on a one day time frame. So uh, we plan to buy this ETF mainly because of the fact that it just simply pays weekly. So um, we'll scroll down here. 
you guys can see that the next declaration date is going to be April 9th, which is next week. So that would give us one, two, three days essentially to get some of this added to our portfolio and the X date is on the 10th. But again, we're not worried about catching as much as possible before the 9th because again, you're gonna have another declaration date the next week and the next week and the next week. So we have plenty of time to pick this one up and we can kind of schedule it around everything else accordingly. So in terms of payments, I mean, so far it's been pretty good. So the uh, weekly has been 33 to 36 cents, which means that the monthly is somewhere between a dollar 20 to dollar. I think that's about a dollar 45 a month per share. So pretty good. Uh, the price is also fairly close to FEPI, a little bit cheaper, but um, still not bad. I mean, for what you're getting, for what we're getting paid, for what you're getting paid to own this, it's actually not that bad, honestly. And the market cap is still relatively small. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a new fund, but we do definitely want to buy it. For those of you guys that don't know about it, uh, this has come across our radar. So we are planning on picking these up. And it is available on Robinhood. So you guys can see it here, QDTE. And I believe the other one for the S&P is the XDTE. Yeah, so they're right here. Uh, you can pick them up if, if you want to. That's up to you. So anyways, this is the yield max distributions for April. Hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you all later. Peace.